Hey everyone, I uh, went to see my first uh, football match here in Denmark today. I went to go see uh, FC Michelin, which is the team that trains here in Ekast. I went to go see them play against Esberg, and it was a lot of fun. I got tickets. I went with um, my friend Soren. He helps. He does some stuff around with the badminton, and his company has like box seats sort of idea uh, at the at the stadium. He his company actually built the stadium, and he has some box seats there. So we went beforehand and had some dinner, and I met some other other people that he works with, and then we uh, had nice seats uh, that were just a little bit sheltered because it was a little rainy, uh, just for the beginning the first half. Uh, it was cold too, so but they had blankets for us, so I, I put on a blanket and everything. Uh, it was actually really exciting. I had fun. Uh, FC Michelin tied uh, to to all to Esberg, and but they were ahead two nothing through the whole first half, and uh, then in the second half, uh, Esberg caught up. So it's cool to see football or or soccer as we call it in Canada at this level. It's so fast and they're really tricky with their feet and. I really enjoyed it and the stadium was really nice it had like this sort of um, very close feeling you felt like we we're right on the field sort of thing well I was really close too and I could uh, finally see a lot of the, the football players that I sometimes see working out and then uh, at the at the training center here and everything so that was kind of cool to see those guys that you just see in the gym out on the the soccer field playing so it was uh, it was, wasn't super busy because I think the weather wasn't that nice. That's what one of the other guys who was there was saying. But there was a good crowd, everything, lots of cheering. Uh, there was one section where they had the Esberg team, uh, people cheering for Esberg, in this one section where they had like fire. I don't know how they did it, but fire was coming up from below. So then smoke came up and it just like engulfs the entire section and smoke. And so it was kind of funny that they, they had put all the um, opposing team people cheering right right there <laughs> to smoke them out and uh, I needed to I need to learn how to work on my angry whistle because that's they're so big like soccer everyone likes to whistle when they're angry or don't like the referee call and stuff so I, I need to learn how to do this really angry whistle it'd be pretty funny I think uh, the other thing I've noticed being here in Denmark is a lot of the fans for all the sports love to use a drum like there's always someone who has a drum and then just beating away on the drum and <laughs> everything so there definitely a couple drums at the game uh, what else happened the other thing that happened it was funny when we were driving uh, when Soren came to pick me up we were heading to the stadium in Henning he had uh, David Bowie in and his CD playing and I love David Bowie so we were two of us were sort of uh, chilling out to David Bowie on our way and so in general it was just a really awesome evening and I'm so glad that Soren decided to take me and I, I had a lot of fun and uh, I think uh, I, I hope maybe he, he said he will think of me again maybe uh, to uh, take me maybe one more time I'll get a chance to go again uh, I'm looking forward to that so Yep, so I think uh, some people tonight are going to uh, watch a movie in one of the common rooms. I think I'll do that. I'm a little bit tired tonight, and I was uh, a little bit cold out of the football game, so I'd rather just you know, put on some pajamas and uh, curl up under a blanket tonight with a hot chocolate or something. Uh, so that's what I think I'll do and hang out with some people. So I'm looking forward to that tonight, and uh, I will talk to you guys all soon. Oh, yeah, I'm heading back to Canada in a couple days. So I will, I'm going to this big athletes conference and so I'll definitely be posting a lot in the, this next week to uh, tell you guys about what's going on at this conference and keep you updated with what's up. Okay, have a good night. Bye.